Welcome to the FanDuel. Hurry up. My name is Tom Vecchio, and we are here for week five of the NFL. We are ready to talk about the studs you want to get into your lineups. Starting off at the top, we have Clyde Edwards Hilaire coming in at $7,900. This is really setting up to be a great spot for him, along with plenty of options on the Chiefs. They are 12 and a half point home favorites against the Raiders. They have a 34 implied at team total. This game has an over under sitting at 55 and a half. All three of those are the highest on the slate. He comes in with 19 touches or more in three of the four games in his rookie season. He has 17 targets in his last three games. And on top of that, he only has one touchdown, and that came in the opening week against the Texans. So we're looking at all these touches. We're looking at all this work he has in the Chiefs offense. And I'm thinking he's due for some positive TD regression. You can't be this involved in an offense and not be scoring touchdowns. We have the Raiders allowing 34.2 FanDuel points per game to opposing running backs. That is dead last in the league. It is setting up to be a big week for CEH and the Chiefs. Moving on, we have Amari Cooper for the Dallas Cowboys coming in at $7,800. And he is another player that is also due for some positive TD regression. We are looking at another player super involved in the offense for the Cowboys. 50 targets, which is a 24.88 market share in the Cowboys passing offense. And he only has one touchdown on the season. We look at Lamb, who has 14 targets over the past two weeks, which is great. We know he had a big game uh, on Sunday against the Browns, but we still have Amari Cooper with 28 targets over the past two weeks, out-targeting him 2-1. to one. We have Dallas at home, 9.5-point home favorites against the Giants, a 31 implied team total, and over-under sitting at 54. These are all the third highest on the slate. We are working with some really, really strong offenses to start. The, Gi the Giants are allowing 31.1 FanDuel points per game to opposing wide receivers. That is the 13th worst in the league. It's setting up to be another big game for Amari Cooper. Moving on, we have Stephon Diggs of the Buffalo Bills coming in at $7,100. He has 37 targets on the Bills, which is a team high. That equates to a 24% market share of targets. That leads the team. He also leads the team in red zone targets, sitting at eight, and that is a 20% market share of those red zone targets specifically. The Titans, they are up against, uh, the Bills are on the road up against the Titans, who are allowing 31.9 FanDuel points per game to opposing wide receivers. That is 12th worst in the league, right behind the Giants. So another weak defense we can be attacking. The Bills have a 26.75 implied team total, and we have Diggs posting 12.6 FanDuel points or more in every single game. A strong offense. We know they're scoring points. They can get it done against this weak Tennessee secondary. That does it for the top studs for your fantasy lineups. Tomorrow on Wednesday, Megan Nunez will be here with her best bets for NFL Week 5. This has been the FanDuel Hurry Up, and we'll catch you back here tomorrow.